Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 3. We are just outside the gift shop for the Jefferson Memorial. This is where Dr. Lee said that our father was heading in order to continue his research on the experiment for Project Purity, which uh, the goal of which was to turn the entire uh, basin of water in this area. I, I think maybe over here and around here, I'm not sure. Uh, to turn all of it into drinkable water. So, uh, without radiation and such, of course. So let's check out the gift shop for the Jefferson Museum and uh, see what's in here. Probably going to be more super mutants, I would assume. That's what we found outside anyway. Hopefully not too many of the super scary variety. The regular ones like this I'm okay with. That's fine. You guys shooting at? Oh, a turret, and it's hostile to them as well as me. Okay. I don't know why you're t posing there, my man? But Get away from me, you freak! We ah. missed. Oh, we're out of ammo. Damn. Bandage and some food time, I guess. Okay, still more here, but we're out of caution, or we're out of um, combat now at least, so that's good. Out of ammo for that again. Gotta remember those frag grenades. I have those too. I have a bit more food here. Nuka Cola, maybe. Um. I hate eating something or using a stim pack or anything that's like not cooked, you know, because I can go back and cook it and it'll be worth a lot more. Plus, it's just disgusting. Oh, we have, oh, never mind. We have a, a sink here. We'll just use a sink. That's fine. A sink will do. We'll get full health from this. Well, I'm glad they were all regular super mutants. Those aren't too bad to deal with. The brutes are a hell of a lot stronger and harder to kill. Yeah, yeah, I'm soaking up the rads. What can I say? Just get my damn health up. Okay. That'd be a really... <laughs> a really awkward place to sit down and take a crap, you know? You got that pipe right there. You could barely spread your legs. Uh, that wouldn't be- that'd be the- that'd be the worst stall right there, man. Or 
Whoever decided the plumbing in there was a real moron. They like their frag grenades, these guys do. Okay, there was like a uh, room with a bunch of good stuff in it. Yeah, the gift shop over here. Hunting rifle I'll take as well. I do quite like the hunting rifle for that, like, like uh, you know, peeking and then shooting and then going back. It's kind of nice for that. Oh, can I repair this one again? Yeah, go ahead and repair it. And that's as best as we can get. We have five shots. Sure, we'll use that for now then. Oh yeah, lots of good stuff in here. More pork and beans. Ooh, instant mash. I need, I need cram now, though. I, re I need, really need cram. Like, a lot of cram. 32, maybe has some ammo in it. More 5.56. More 5.56, very good. I'll take all this stuff, actually. Everything but the uh, sledgehammer. Just a plunger in here. Guess that was already looted, huh? Okay. Think we are good here, yes? That bathroom is out of order. Obviously. So we can go a couple different ways. Basement, gift shop, and rotunda. It doesn't say where this way goes. This is where I came from, though, over here. So what do we what do we have done this way? No. Please, I want it. There we go. Stealth. I keep hitting the shift in accident. Uh, pump control, you say? Hmm. That might be where we actually have to go, but... It's a new area, so I'm going to explore around here first and see what's what before I go down there, if I can. In Fallout New Vegas, you could use the chemistry sets sometimes. If you had high enough uh, medicine skill or whatever, you could, like, make stuff occasionally. Okay, this is going to go to the Rotunda. It's a different area, so we'll explore this area first before we go on. So I don't forget about this place and not explore it, you know? ECPs, very nice. Maybe we'll meet somebody that has a uh, Gatling laser. That would be scary, but also exciting because then I can use a Gatling laser. It'd be very fun. My big gun skill is not great, but it's not terrible either. Since I have decent strength. I have not invested anything into it, and I don't know if I will be able to ever. What does this do? No response, okay. Sub basement. So we've got the rotunda and the sub basement. And the drainage. Manhole to Taft Tunnels requires a key. Okay, so we got all kinds of ways we can go here. I'm going to try rotunda first, though. Well, that sure as hell is a science experiment. Search Dad's holotapes for clues in his location. Okay, so he's not here then, I take it. This goes back to the gift shop. Oh, that's a brute. That's not good. Yeah, we missed. That's bad. Switching guns. Ah! Ah! 
This is real bad. Um, Medex, Jet. Not gonna use the Caravan Lunch quite yet, but uh, this is not good, guys. Okay, it's cure in lunchtime. And do I have any buff out? I think I, I left all the buff out back there. I gotta use absolutely everything I have here, guys, just to survive. This is gonna be real rough. Oh, Jesus Christ. Those are the fucking worst, man. They are the worst. They have so much health compared to everything else. It's just ridiculous. Gotta go back and find the uh, bathroom. Yeah, here we go. The Papa Radex here. If I have one, yeah. See you guys in a bit once I'm done drinking. Okay, Radax wore off just in time for me to get full. Didn't quite get into the second level radiation poisoning, so that's good. My god, though, that was tough. That was really, really rough. The brutes are just crazy, man. They are just insane. In, a, in tight quarters like that, it's just, it's a real bad time. with their enhanced speed and everything, where they can just catch up to you, no problem. Okay, so when I see what's over here, I guess the answer is not much of anything. Can I move these? Yeah, I can. Okay, I want to see if I can go back there. I can't, obviously, so... Never mind. So this is the hub of where Dab was working at, trying to purify the water. It's all glowy and stuff. Looks pretty high tech. So it said, look for uh, Dad's holotapes.
Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see here. We have entry 5, entry 8, and entry 10. Alright, let's see. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault -like facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day, Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the Overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex's social preservation program and his work on something called GEC, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Ah, okay, the GEC. Yes, yeah, so we've heard of this before. Probably, uh... He got the same message that we read as well. I'm going to see if I can turn... Again, the holotapes are just so low, it's so hard to hear them. If I turn the effects down, maybe you can hear these better. Try turning the radio up. I don't think it's the radio, though. It doesn't count as the radio. I'm not sure... ...what counts as what here, but... Yeah, trying to get the uh, settings better so you guys can actually hear. Oh, auxiliary filtration input. Hmm. I can activate that. All right. Uh, number eight. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module, capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, holotapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. Wow, interesting. So, are we able to go to this vault? Is it in this area? I guess we'll see. Entry number 10. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close, but that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Okay, so that would probably be it then. We have to go and find Dad in uh, the Vault 112. And do we get a marker for that on our map anywhere? So it was west of... Uh, west of Evergreen something? Hmm, I don't know. I'm actually not sure. It doesn't actually give us an, a location here. Okay, well, there's lots of the other stuff to do as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the sound back, or at least the effects back, to a reasonable level. But right there should be okay.
Okay, and I think that's all is here, guys. Pretty sure that's it, so... That's where we're going. So it was west of Evergreen Mills, I believe. Which, I don't know where that is either. Handle allows for the input of additional filtration chemicals. Okay, I'm gonna assume we probably have to find certain chemicals, put them in there, and then, uh... Maybe activate this thing to start it up. I thought about trying to put in the, um, what does this do? I can't do anything with it, okay. I thought about maybe trying to put in the, um, the Psalms number for, uh, what James told us when we were, we were like a baby. That was, uh, our mother's favorite passage. The, uh, I am Alpha and Omega, and I will give to thee the water of life. Something like that, I forget. It was about water and stuff. Would make sense if that was the code for this. Was it like 13.9 or something? I don't know. I, I could go back and check, I guess, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it right now. Okay, so that is the rotunda, which is where the actual experiment was going on. We still have the sub-basement, uh, over here to explore. As well as the tunnel area. I forget what it's called. The area back down the hallway over there. So I guess we'll see what's down here. Our next step is obviously, though, to go and find Vault 111. Or, no, sorry, 112. Uh, which we don't really know where it is. Didn't give us a clue on the map. He said it, he said it was just west of the Evergreen something. I forget. Okay, I hear big fat super mutant steps over here. I don't have a ton of ammo. Talk. Have you found green stuff? I haven't found any. Ever. Maybe a uh, that's not good. I'm going to assume they're going to come from that direction over there. Maybe I can toss some grenades. Well, that went pretty well so far, honestly. Gotta get healing immediately on this. I just had like so many of them down there and it did not sound like it was gonna be a good time. So I pieced out right away. There's still more, obviously. I will have your assault rifle, thank you. Just a regular one, not too bad. The fuck? Dude is bugged out. Someone stuck in the ceiling. The hell was that? Stuck in the freaking ceiling. Well, at least I got all my grenades back. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Is that everybody? 
They all had frag grenades. It's kind of great. Yeah, I'm glad I tossed a bunch of grenades because I don't think I would have been able to take them all on with just my ammo and my rifle. They would have pretty much annihilated me, I think. Okay. That was pretty tense. The combat music is stuck on, which means I'm probably going to crash for this for whatever reason, so I'm going to get a save in here. Not powered, will not open, okay. Oh, entry 7, nice. And uh, entry 8. Didn't we already hear entry 8? Or was this a different journal? I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my son, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without his mother. Oh, this is where I was born. There's stuff all over the place. Probably got knocked around whenever I tossed all those grenades, huh? It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt. Both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere, and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Madison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, he'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. Darn kids, man. I always mess everything up. That's why I'm never having any. I mean, good on you if you have kids, but you know, yeah. Just think, we could have purified water for the whole wasteland if only our character was not born. Everything's pretty tossed around down here. You guys know I'm mostly joking when I say stuff like that, right? Because there are people that will get very, very upset if I say I don't want children. I mean, I don't. I don't want children. I don't have time for kids. I don't have time for myself. Barely am able to take care of myself, you know, much less kids. So I think it's pretty responsible of me even to not want kids. Because if I did want kids, then, I mean... I wouldn't be able to care for him very well, so yeah. Okay, I feel like this is going to be stuff we do later on, maybe. This must have been his room, because there's all kinds of stuff here. Personal journal. Bunch of other entries, okay. I guess I can pick them all up. Do it like that. Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry. Since I left all of this behind to make a life for my son. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe. And that's all I could have hoped for. Now, my son is a grown man. Handsome, intelligent, confident. Just like his old man. <laughs> and as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. I mean, you always need your parents, though. Okay, hold on. Can I turn on subtitles for these? Like, that'd be great if I could at least turn on subtitles. I thought they were on, but... Maybe general subtitles will do it. I thought they were already on, but maybe not. Let's see. Entry number one. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project. 
<sighs> Music is just way too loud. Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. So basically he went to a vault until we turned 18 and then said, Okay, well, you're a man now. See you later. I gotta go do my other stuff. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I'll need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. Madison, that would be Madis Madison Lee, I would say, right? I spoke with Dr. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. And here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Okay. More insight into Dad and his motives and all that kind of stuff. That's cool. Keep looking around here. Oh, better days. One more left. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? <laughs> We really shouldn't. <laughs> Old James was uh, getting in mom's pants there. Might have been we were when we were conceived, you never know. Alright, let's keep looking around down here. Turn the music back up a tiny bit then. Cow skull and a grill. I guess I can cook anything here now. Nice, well, I can cook some stuff here. I do have stuff I looted off the uh, mutants. That's kind of cool. Let's see what all I have here. I do have ant meat, but I can't make that here. Dog meat? No. Mire lurk? Don't think I have any of that. Okay, we can go deeper then. Should be in stealth, just in case. Of that. I think I pissed off every super mutant in the entire facility with that earlier thing I did, but you never know. Ah, okay, so this must be the... Uh, is this purified water? No, it still has rads in it. Because I said it worked fine in small batches. So I'm curious if they got to work at all. Looks like no, though. This is still irradiated. Just chunks of mutants everywhere. Okay, is that everything? Am I, am I good now? Let me see here. Local map. Yeah, I think I explored the entire facility down here. This entire sub-basement. So this is where they were working out of... Um, 
project stopped because we were born, dad left, and the other person was not good at dealing with the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood was the only thing that was keeping them safe, basically, because, uh, yeah, they were super mutants attacking multiple times per day. And the scientists were not equipped to deal with that, and they couldn't obviously do their work while they're dealing with that, so... Brotherhood was here to help them with it. And this requires power in order to be opened. And we'll have to, uh... Probably get the other fusion generator working before we can power that up, and then we'll find out more, I suppose, would be my guess anyway. Oh god, the lighting flickering. Okay, well, that is the sub-basement. I guess the last place we can go is to the, um... other area. Alright, there's... there's oh, look, this requires a key. I don't have that yet. Probably Dad has it. And, uh, the other place we can go to is... over here. Yeah, she should get some health back, too, over here. down that hole, basically. We'll go over there and check it out, and we'll be pretty much done exploring this area. And then we have to find out where that vault actually is. Hooray, advanced radiation sickness. Right, gate pump control. Okay, this is a nice place. At least it has lighting, you know, I guess. That's a plus. Does this just come out somewhere? And we can just exit here? I guess so. Goes back outside. Well, that's pretty much everything explored then, at least. In this area. We can try and make our way to the ship now, I would say. That is locked. And this pipe control... Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. It requires a key. Turning on... Doesn't make much sense. Why is there... I mean, I guess they must have built it uh, post-war, but, like, why is there this thing here when this is all broken? I don't know. It wouldn't make sense. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go back out here, and I think what we're gonna do is fast travel... Uh... I just fast travel to here. It's fine. To the outside of the Jefferson Memorial. And can look around the up top portion a bit more. There's a building to explore over there, maybe. Some stuff over there, possibly. It's a shack over there. I mean, a dock. Might be some stuff over there we can check out. Um, the memorial itself, uh, I didn't actually go inside of. And it's just a massive amount of pipes and stuff now. It's kind of odd they chose this place as a site for all this. It uh, obviously didn't look like this before. The war. Oh crap, I can't go down here. Gotta go around. I want to go across over here and uh, see the other half of the ship because there's a door over here. I'll go and do that first, I think. And I, the doctor said that Pinkerton was the guy that like split the ship in half, so like maybe he's in this other half of the ship over here. I don't know. There is a door though. He might have mines, though. I don't know. Should be, like, looking around more carefully than just running and stuff, but... We made it. It's okay. It's fine.
Ah. Very hard lock, though. Broken bow, very hard. Okay, so we can't go over there right now. Unless we find an alternative way in, which I don't know there might be. It's possible. Can look around over here at least. There is some pre-war stuff over here. Might find some goodies. Is this like a junkyard? What it kind of looks like. Nah, just a parking lot, I guess, with a bunch of wrecked cars and vertebrate and stuff. Or not a vertebrate, just a regular airplane, I suppose. Can I hop into it? Go for a ride? Nah, it's probably not gonna work. Nothing to speak of in there. I can't even go up there. That's, like, off-limits. Invisible wall. Okay, I would say we really can't... I can't even go right there. We really can't do much over here. Nothing to see here except just, you know... Terrain and scenery and stuff. Okay, fair enough. So Pinkerton is... Maybe he's over here, I don't know, but we can't get in there right now. I'm not sure how, anyway. Maybe I have to go to the other boat here. The main boat, and check it over there. I'm really not sure, guys. Don't really know. Not sure if there's anything more I'm supposed to do over here as well at the Jefferson Memorial. But, uh, I guess we put that stuff on hold for now. This has got to be... He's got to be in Rivet City somewhere, this Pinkerton guy. I might, like, wander around a bit, guys, um, between episodes trying to find him. And I'll sort off next episode whenever I find him. And, uh, we can have a chat with him then. So, uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.